Okay, this question, I, I, I got it a lot. Um, got it on Twitter and Reddit. So everyone's wondering with the crashing market, is IOHK Emergo and the Cardano Foundation, are they solvent? Do they have enough money to continue operations? Everyone wants a dollar amount when, when the operation will stop, but I know that the all, all three entities are well-funded, but you know so many crypto projects are fizzling out and they're selling all their ETH or they're selling their BTC and they're gonna be done in the matter of a year. Uh, people want to know whether or not this is going to be the same for Cardano. Right. Well, you know, it's kind of funny that uh, on one hand, people say, how dare you work on other projects, IOHK? We want you only to work on Cardano. But then on the other hand, by working on other affairs and projects, we make revenue as a company, which allows us to keep our people gainfully employed and continue doing research and keep the lights on. So it's kind of just a bizarre thing, this space. They don't know what they want. Um, IOHK is fine. We're wildly profitable. The company is doing quite well. and We're growing and we have a pretty diverse product pipeline and uh, those products will sustain us uh, for the foreseeable future. Uh, we're fully funded till 2020 specifically for the Cardano project and we'll honor all of our obligations there with or without appreciation of ADA. We haven't sold a single ADA. Show you all of the FUD in our space over and over again. Every day I see people say that we're dumping our ADA and that's why the price is going down. We published our address, verifiably false in this uh, this this lie that goes around. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, and I, and I understand why people worry about these markets falling. Um, the reality is, most of these projects were started by people with no experience in Wall Street or fund management, and they got a bunch of an asset, and they said, wow, the asset keeps going up. Let's just hold on to it because I'll just keep getting richer and richer and richer. And they didn't realize the what goes up can also go down. And suddenly they went from being massively in the green to actually losing half or more of their project capital. Uh, the most ironic historical offender of that was the Ethereum project itself. After I left, they failed to hedge the Bitcoin that they raised, and they lost $9 million to volatility in the market, half of their funding. So, uh, so these things can happen. They certainly cause a lot of pain and heartache when they do. Uh, but for our purposes, I think we're doing reasonably well and comfortably well. And uh, our best days are definitely ahead of us. Yeah, it's the same thing at Emergo. So we're still hiring more people. We're still, still growing our teams. Uh, we have enough money that this, the market is not really uh, affecting our company itself. And so if we find somebody who's you know got the right skills, and the right fit, you know, we'll, we'll get them on board. So 